What is a chondrocyte? First, we must look at where a chondrocyte is found and where it comes from. A chondrocyte is a cell located in cartilage. Cartilage is a supportive connective tissue that has a rubbery matrix. This matrix is produced by chondroblasts. Some of the functions provided by cartilage are to assist our body with movement, to reduce the impact when walking or running, and to provide lubrication for our joints. Here is a picture of all the areas where cartilage can be found. We can find cartilage all over our body, near joints, between bones, and also on outside structures such as a nose, ears, and believe it or not, our larynx. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes are all places where cartilage can be found. Chondrocytes aren't always chondrocytes. Let me explain. Chondrocytes develop from chondroblasts that are located in the outer covering layer of cartilage. Chondroblasts' main purpose is to produce the ECM, also called the extracellular matrix. This matrix is what cartilage is composed from. Chondroblasts are the active form of MSCs, or mesenchymal stem cells. Chondroblasts surround themselves with the matrix they produce and form a lacunae. Lacunae is a Latin word for lake. This is a void where the chondroblasts will sit in. When chondroblasts fill the lacunae, they are then referred to as chondrocytes. It is important to note that the chondrocyte is the same mesenchymal stem cell that we call a chondroblast, just in a different state that has matured and doesn't produce the extracellular matrix. Here we can see a chondrocyte. The chondroblast has engulfed itself with its own matrix, and the gap here can be referred to as a lacunae. Chondrocytes vary in shape, number, and size, depending on their anatomical region in the cartilage. Chondrocytes are small and tend to be 50 to 250 nanometers. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter. For reference, a sheet of paper is 100,000 nanometers thick whereas a strand of human DNA is 2.5 nanometers in diameter. Not only are chondrocytes varied in size, but they also vary in shape. Chondrocytes in the superficial zone are flatter, tend to be smaller, and have a greater density than the cells in the deeper in the matrix. Chondrocytes are found in different zones in the ECM. The superficial zone the middle or transitional zone, the deep zone, and the calcified zone. Each of these zones have three regions, pericellular, territorial, and interterritorial. The superficial layer usually has a high number of flattened chondrocytes, and it plays a role of protection and maintenance for the deep layers of the articular cartilage. This allows the cartilage to assist in resisting compressive forces by articulation. In the middle zone, which makes up about 40 to 60 percent of the cartilage, the chondrocytes are spheres and are at a low density. In the deep zone, the chondrocytes are arranged in columns parallel to collagen fibers and perpendicular to the joint line. There are a handful of organelles in the chondrocyte. The mitochondria produces the energy currency of the chondrocyte cell. The rough endoplasmic reticulum aids in the synthesis and export of proteins. The nucleus contains the genetic material of the chondrocyte. And the Golgi complex or Golgi apparatus packages up proteins before sending them off to their destination. The main function of the chondrocyte cell is to maintain the extracellular matrix. The chondrocyte does this by producing collagen and proteoglycan to maintain the mechanical integrity of its cartilage. If there was no chondrocytes, any damage done to the cartilage would be permanent and deterioration to the cartilage tissue would happen at an accelerated rate. This in turn would lead to conditions such as osteoarthritis.
In this condition, bones rub or grind against each other due to lack or damage of cartilage.